Hello, I'm Mark Tindall, Rental Sales Gallery Manager, Portland Art Museum, and welcome to this video walkthrough of our new artists invitational show. We're delighted to welcome seven new member artists in, into the Rental Sales Gallery, and we're gonna take you through a short introduction of them and their works, which are now gonna be here in the Rental Sales Gallery, available for rental and purchase. Let's start with the works behind me here. And these are works are by James Dunbar Sr. James is an artist who has worked for a long time in Portland. He has a deep and profound connection to the city and this profound also love of color, of energy, of the urban and the natural environment that surrounds us. His pieces are filled with this rich, thick, deeply applied color. He uses a palette knife, he uses thick oils, and he just creates such incredible vibrancy in his works. Um, he's worked throughout the city, he has had uh, pieces on the market, he has had pieces in his own gallery, but now he's here in Rental Sales Gallery and we're delighted to have welcomed him aboard. Um, you can see, as a combination of pieces, you get this wonderful light and dark, how his works jump out using these textuous feels to them. He's an artist who was trained actually under one of our other gallery artists, under Leland John, who is another one of our gallery artists. James has spoken to me frequently of, of the work that he did with, uh, with Leland. He's gone off in a, in a completely different and original direction of his own, but the results are really wonderful and it adds an extra layer of vibrancy, color, and I think tremendous quality into the rental sales gallery. And that is something we're gonna see with all of the new member artists as we go through this walkthrough is they are all bringing tremendous quality, vibrancy and originality to their work and greatly strengthening and adding to the artists that we already have here. I'm very, very proud to welcome James and the other artists in as we'll go through them. Uh, we continue our walk through with these wonderful ceramic pieces here created by Maya Vivas. Maya is a multidisciplinary um, artist working in ceramics, porcelain in this particular case, as well as performance, installation and social practice focused art. They are a founder of the Ori Gallery, uh, which is a gallery in, in Portland, focused on redefining the, as they call it, the white cube space um, to be more inclusive of trans and queer artists. Maya's work here, as you can see, has this beautiful, sinuous, dexterous, just very movement-filled quality to it. Um, these white uh, porcelain pieces in particular um, jump out as well because they have these gorgeous gold additions um, to them. They feel like movement, they feel like flowers, they just have this incredible liveliness to the pieces. And I think combining a group of them together as we've got here, you really see the just the quality of them jump out. We're delighted to um, welcome Maya into the gallery. Their work uh, reinforces the strength, the increasing strength we have amongst our 3D artists. And we're very, very excited to be showcasing these alongside their work as well, and alongside our other new artists too. Uh, we continue with the works of Arturo Villasenor. Arturo is another one of our multidisciplinary artists. We, we focus on his painting here, but he is also a photographer, sculptor, uh, translator, writer, you know, a truly varied range of work that he does, and we're delighted to have him here in the gallery. Uh, born in Mexico, um, he worked as a civil engineer, but now he's here in Portland, and his focus is on his creative work here. And the works themselves, I think you get a real feeling and flavor of the richness and variety of the work that he's doing with this uh, section that we have here. The influence of his Mexican heritage, I think, jumps through so strongly in pieces like this, uh, like a Guia Mexicano Toma, or this one, or La, La Mascara. Beautiful, beautiful work, striking, bold color palettes. But then we also get these more intriguing kind of pieces here, this, uh, this sort of fabulous, whimsical, mystical feeling. Um, skyscape, and then one of my personal favorite pieces in, in, in the entire show. I just think this, the green of this abstract is so beautiful and so engaging. It just, it feels deeply textuous. Even in 2D, they've created this, he's created this fabulous, fabulous 3D feeling to the piece. Beautiful selection of works. We're very, very proud um, to see uh, the variety we've got here and excited this is the start of our relationship with Arturo. So, Thank you, Arturo, and welcome to the gallery. We continue with the works of Lindsay Holcomb, who has this wall here. Uh, Lindsay is an internationally recognized and regarded artist, 
um, for her Colours of MS project, which she created and is the artistic lead on. Um, Colours of MS was created following Lindsay's own personal diagnosis of multiple sclerosis, and many of her works here are explorations of that, the impact it's had on her, and how she works uh, with that. At the heart of, of the show here, we have this piece, which is called Artist's MRI, and this is at the heart of what she does for her Colours of MS work. She takes um, people's brain, brain scans, their MRI scans, recreates them as beautiful, beautiful, beautiful artistic pieces using ink, thread, paper, creating works that are, are both 2 and 3D at the same time. The result is sensationally beautiful pieces like these, where you see this dynamicism of movement, blending of color, really rich, elegant, beautifully composed pieces. And up here, we have a, a different kind of exploration for her. She's working in a 3D sculpture here, where discovering new media, discovering new approaches to work. And again, this is the excitement we have of having member artists here in the rental sales galleries. We have now long-term relationships with artists. Many of the artists in the gallery have been here for 10, 15, 20, even in some cases, 50 to 60 years. So as a gallery, we develop long-term relationships with our artists. And there is the chance to see how their work progresses over a long period of time. So with Lindsay, and I think with many of our new artists, I'm excited to see what their journey will be. And what a wonderful, wonderful starting point we have here with these just sensationally beautiful, elegant, but powerful pieces. We now go for a real change of pace with uh, the work of two more of our new artists here. Um, on the wall here is uh, Emily Miller and her fabulous watercolors and acrylics. Emily has a profound connection to the natural world, deeply inspired by the coasts of Oregon and Hawaii and the East Coast as well. And you can really see that coming through in these beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, at the heart of her work are these watercolors, often painted on location. Um, so capturing the real essence of the changing light and the energy and even like the smell and the feel of the natural environment that she is in. Um, you have the wonderful coastal works here, then into a landscape, and then something a little closer to home, which I just think is so utterly charming, is this piece of, um, of, of, of a Mac station with the trains sort of in place together. Delightful, delightful works, finding the vibrancy and color of the natural world. Mixed into that, we have these two fabulous uh, acrylic uh, study pieces uh, of a nudibranche and an anemone. Fabulous little works. And as well as these paintings, Emily also does a lot of installation and uh, that kind of like, engaged work, working with recycled, repurposed materials. Um, she does a particular set of work working with fishing nets, which she repurposes into different objects. Another one of our artists who has a real multidisciplinary element to her skill set. So again, delighted to sort of welcome her in and excited to see that this is the start. And we're very much looking forward to seeing what comes next um, with her and her work. Um, if I step over here, we shift the focus to uh, Maral Estegalelian. Maral is uh, an Iranian-American uh, artist, and her focus is these, I think, just sensational, geometric, um, minimalist pieces, combining stark white backgrounds with very sort of focused color choices, and really creates incredible energy with such, on the surface, simple visual shapes. So these minimalist pieces that she does, she combines them with um, very expressive titles that have a sort of unique energy to them. This particular piece is called Let the Sun Shine Through. Sunshine on a cloudy day, this one above. And then this, one of my personal favorites, I just think this beautiful, beautiful blue and black piece up here is called Cross an Ocean for Me. And as someone who has crossed an ocean to be here in Portland, it has a particular resonance for me and is one that uh, I think I feel a great emotional attachment to. And I have no doubt that many people who come in and see Marl's work will feel exactly the same way. They are beautiful pieces, bring a very different energy to the gallery, but at the same time strengthen and reinforce the work that we already have here. And it's a real, real delight to have welcomed her and her pieces are here. Last but by no means least is our seventh new artist, and that work 
is by Joseph the Human, which you see on the wall behind me here. Um, apologies for the shadows on the piece. We have a lot of natural light uh, in the gallery. Sometimes it's a blessing, sometimes it's a curse. But I think the quality of Joseph's work and the dynamicism of his colors and the vibrancy of his pieces shines through no matter what. Um, what we see here is a wonderful combination of the, the different factors that made Joseph such an appealing artist when we were doing our process of uh, recruitment and engagement. You can see combinations of these fabulous city views, beautiful, beautiful forest scenes, with rich colors like sunlight bursting through. I think this is what really made his work jump out to me and why we're so excited to welcome him into the gallery is he's blending these different elements together, which are just so much at the heart of the Pacific Northwest experience. You know, the love of the city and the love of our vibrant and very special natural environment. Um, as well as being an artist, Joseph works as a, as a muralist. Uh, you can find his murals on uh, buildings across the city. Very, very excited to have an artist working in a, a wholly different kind of medium uh, previous, that we've previously had here. But you get a wonderful feel for his work. So his forest scapes, as he calls them, and then his Portland cityscapes. This one, Wind Beneath My Wings. And this one, a particular favorite of mine up here called A Piece of Sky. Delightful images capturing the different energy of the city in a familiar but very much unfamiliar way too. So excited to welcome Joseph in amongst our other new member artists.